All right, ladies. Kind of did a thing or two here. Uh, convinced my neighbor to let me use the chopper to at least get this field opened up. I'm going to cheat a little bit. He, can set, he said I could have it until tomorrow morning. With that being said, the last video I left off, I was doing mowing some hay. I got the hay down. Got that field done over here and ended up taking the little small chunk there to the left with it for the high moisture corn. And I took the duals off the 4960. So the right side that I'm looking at right here is normal for the pull type chopper. And I snagged this one off. It's 50%. It was halfway there, man. A couple bolts, you yank it off, you're done, you know. You slap her up on some tire, or er, blocks and get the tire off the ground whatever so my big thing is i gotta bust out at least these three boxes if not more by myself here today trying to finish the day out and get the rest of this field done up and get my chopping done for the year of corn silage as you can see i already got this box going now let me remember where I'm at here should be good throttle her up now this is kind of the issue I have right now we never really did a good planting on this field I kind of just threw her in here around the outside edges but we're going to roll with it and see what we can get. Try to stay on my six rows. And then we're going to fight it back out when we come to combine this field. Can't really see where my uh, terraces are. I know I want to get up to this corner. And I got 24 rows on each end row. But uh, we're going to leave the easy sections for the combine I'm just taking out the harder sections and I don't know if I put my wagons in the right spot but we're gonna try to keep moving forwards with uh, not having to travel too much or walk too much for the tractor and another wagon but the reason why I decided to convince him <coughs> greenbacks to let me use this chopper yet is for things just like this come on crank it little chopper don't turn as sharp and I kind of miss that but we're gonna swing right back around here and try to catch the last six rows what's going on here I cranked her a little too hard Oh well, we'll just pop out here, snag right onto this. Trying not to break a wagon axle here today, you know. But the corn's yielding pretty freaking good right now. So I'm not complaining at all. It might actually be a really good year to harvest a lot of this. Now I can see the terraces. Probably just going to punch through and go right after them and not take as much as I thought I would. Either way, I got to get the three boxes full. I know I want that for silage. But my main goal here is uh, we'll end up putting that field to rye, some winter rye, so I could chop that here this spring. And I'll have to go back to the pull type chopper for that. I'm not renting this one for easy stuff. And then we'll throw some corn in it to chop again next fall. And somewhere back here, I'm going to put my alfalfa rotation in. So I got a lot of stuff to do yet before the ground gets cold and winter hits. But right now I got a little bit of time to do it. Can't say a lot of time because I don't have a lot of time on my hands. Oh, come on. I missed it. Alright, let's do a wide turn. Be easy. I'm 
gonna miss that little corner there, but it's all right. You can always get it again later. Just try not to snap an axle. Got to remember, it's a little six row. Thank God it's not my three row pull type. <laughs> it's take forever. Too much turning. And I know I need to get a good crop rotation going on, whether it be with the soybeans or alfalfa. But uh, the rye helps a little bit, but not as much as you guys would think. Otherwise, I'm going to be dumping a lot of uh, potash and and hydrous on this stuff, so I'd rather not. And I'm off a row. Grab that row. Come on. I can always clean this up and after the fact, but Alright, let's try this again and not get stuck. We might just swing out even wider yet. This is why I just, this chopper's perfect. I can go anywhere I want, not have to worry about it. Let's try to find that. Last end row, I can't see. Where are we at? Where are we at? Uh, right here's a planter gap. I don't believe that's the last end row. Nope, doesn't look like it. Let's just follow this up. See, I kind of forget how I planted this one. Which, I mean, you got what eight months gone I believe a lot of people are gonna forget oh there's the tears pull over here all right now we're starting to get in the clear of seeing everything I didn't want to have to deal with this with the combine because that'd be a lot I don't know which way to go ah, ah. get back over here sure Trying to look for the rows. We got the rows going like that. There's a planter gap. Uh, I think we need to go over a little bit more. It looks like I'm all out of the end rows. Which would be pretty decent to come in and combine. Looking good so far. Alright. Yeah, so I messed up on that one. Took a lot of the rows rather than the end rows. Box is almost full. I think I'm just going to call it rather than getting down to the other end and having a full box. If I just call it here and start over with a empty one, then I can keep going the way I want. Don't put her in the pond though. Shift her up the gear. Let's get moving. on a time crunch. Alright. Going at air again.
she's handling this pretty good so I'm gonna leave it in third gear I suppose he said second gear just because of the corn head and how much trash was on it and everything so we'll see how long this can last in third gear <laughs> I don't want to plug it that's why I was running second but we're pulling a lot of stuff through this chopper and head now but these half or uh, half head sections are not bad at all and slow down for the turning come up here grab some of the end I'm not going to try to back into the back out of that corner with the wagon on. Nope. Burn over here to the terrace. Ooh, I can grab my row of shame too. And outline this lower terrace because then I know exactly where I can go in and out at. Ah, there we go. Makes me feel a lot better. Clean up my own mess. Hold on to it. Try not to throw the head into the terrace too hard. Maybe we'll just leave a little bit more corn rather than going so low. Alright, now we're on the back 40, so burn over this way. Ooh, I left a decent gap there. Did not know that while planting. Swing out a little wide. I know I could mess it up, but Terrace is at least outlined there then. Let's roll, ladies. We're just going to cut straight through here. As long as corn keeps showing up in front of me and I don't hit a gap, we'll be fine, right? Oh, there she is. I don't even know my own fields that good. This is what I didn't want to deal with with the combine, so that's why I said I'm taking the chopper. Oh, we got plenty of room yet. Keep burning around getting this stuff taken care of. Well, I guess I'll have to come back and clean that up. Why can't we just have like a corn head that is just like a chopper head? Go any direction you want. Alright, where's that terrace set again? Alright, we'll just follow that right back in there.
focusing so hard I forget to talk. My bad, ladies. Just trying to get a few things done. Mess that one up. That section should be pretty decent to get opened up. Beans I'm not so worried about. I can do the same thing. Go any direction I want. Just as long as you turn around and come back the opposite direction that you just went across. Otherwise, you could potentially, once you bend some over, not be able to pick them back up. How far do I go? I know I'm not going to follow this all the way around. I'll probably square it off with that tree line there. Something like this, maybe? Where's my... What? I thought I was a lot closer. The shade threw me off there. It's alright. Garage will turn. We'll get the rest of the combine. Perfect. Try to get some of this cleaned up in my three wagons loads that I'm going to be taking and then finish her out. How full are we? Oh, we're getting there. I think I got enough. That next wagon load I should be able to get the rest of this cleaned up in. bit rough out here but that's why we got terraces in because of the erosion in the hillside so am I looking at something weird or is that gap that I left there planting again definitely a gap darn No wonder why the big guys have GPS on their planers. They can see what they miss. That's a pretty big section that I missed. It happens. Oh, not paying attention again. Work our way back to the other wagons before I get full. Full enough, anyways. And there you go.
that one shouldn't be that hard to outline the waterway there. Mine. Just a little squirt. <laughs> I'm making myself laugh. Oh golly. Got all these dad jo jokes in the chamber. I think it would be a good idea if I just did alfalfa from that waterway even in the back 40 there all the way up to that side I I really didn't want to commit to that much but I think it's gonna work out depends how much rye I put in I might just stick with that up there as alfalfa this next year because if I get a good harvest off of rye I won't need as much but We'll definitely be chopping that rye. Because I'm going to make the last field I just did of... Or the last cut of alfalfa I did. That's all going to bales. So that should be enough for me for next year. Got to make sure I got enough room in this box before I go above and beyond taking any more than what I think I can get in here. Just clean everything up, otherwise it's going to be a pain in the butt fighting this with the combine. Um, I suppose I'll go around and down below, clean that up, pop up that end of the terrace, and grab that last little cut. Because it's pretty steep right there in the center that I don't want to chance it with somebody else's unit. I don't know if the head could go up high enough to get down there or not. That'd be just my luck. We've made it so long without any incidents or breakdowns that I don't really want to start that one again. Where's my Dr. Pepper? I think the dang thing travels straight enough. We'll get some uh, more juice than myself. <sighs> Don't take the trees. No, I'm not a tree hugger, but I don't want to dull the blades. Grab this one. Yes, sir. -y. Alright, right here, it's not so steep, and I kind of missed it before. I better put it down, grab some of that, rather than running it over. It's 
long as I keep doing this right, I should be able to whittle this down. This one's going to get a little tight. Might drop a tire off. Okay, good. We'll just swing out wide over here. Crank her back around. See, ladies, this is why I usually try not to do a video like this. I run out of things to say, and then I'm literally just sitting here doing commentary over what I'm doing. But we got a lot of a wagon left, so. Burn back over here and clean up this end. Oof, that's rough. Hold on to it. What am I doing? much. Try to get that wagon straight before I jump back in. How'd it do? Pretty decent. Oh, what? What side? What side? Okay, that side. Just a bit more to go. I missed a lot of little ones out there. How much room do I got left? Quite a bit. Let's go venture around this one real quick. Till we at least get the wagon full. I I bet I got enough to go around maybe twice. Let's just not get into a uh, in between a rock and a hard place. been off a row. Oops. Yeah, that's a little close to a bush. I 
last second decisions. Yeah, just as I thought. We'd make it to two around or a little more. Where'd that cut through go? That's all the way down here? Oh, shoot. Starting to get to be a long video, but... We're going to go with it. again. Thought I could grab another row. You know, it would help if uh, YouTube would let me upload some good songs, because with the AirPods in, I'm sitting here jamming out, and I always forget that you guys don't hear that. Well, I do it for a reason. For one, I'm in and out of so many pieces of equipment that I always forget to turn the radio on, so I just wear my AirPods. And then the other reason is... YouTube won't let me take these songs and upload them so I uh, I choose to wear the airpods and listen to my own stuff probably turned a little too soon there we'll snag some of this quickly And I'm going to have to call that done. Oh, grab the section. Come on. And I think we're good. What's going on here? Alright, there you have it, ladies. Three chopper boxes full. We are done chopping corn for the year. The rest of it is going to be turned into some cow chow and sold at market. Hopefully dry it down and get a really good price out of it this winter. If I hold on to it some. And we'll see where this goes. I might actually hold on to it in the next summer if that's the case. But it's going to be my little savings account. So 
Thanks for sticking tuned. See you next time.